Hello and welcome back to video number four uh, with lab two on animating text. In this tutorial or this video I'm going to show you how to animate the word imagine each letter at a time coming out of the bird's head. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure we lock all the layers. It's really important to lock your layers when you're working as your projects grow. That way you can make sure that you don't affect anything on different layers. And then to ensure that the bird and the hat appear on all the frames as we're working, let's go ahead and insert blank frames pressing F5 in frame 100. That way we extend the bird and the hat throughout the rest of the animation. So go ahead and select the hat opening layer and when you insert a new layer it'll be placed just above it. We don't need to name this layer because eventually we're going to delete it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw a keyframe in frame 40 because that's where I'd like the words imagine to start. And I'm just going to go ahead and press F6 and then I'm going to select the text tool and I'm going to preset some of the settings for the font ahead of time I have it in the lab. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to set the fill color and I actually gave you the hexadecimal code it was FFFFCD which is actually the same color as the stairs and I can hit at enter and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose my font and I'm actually choosing uh, the same font I'm using in the lab which is a really decorative font called Turkey Sandwich and I'm going to scrub this font size up we'll leave it about 33 and then I'm going to click right here on the eyeball and just type the word imagine using the selection tool I can then come back and select the text and I don't have to worry about selecting the bird or the hat because those layers are locked and that looks like a good enough size now in order to animate each letter you have to break apart the text and each uh, text letter becomes its own symbol or its own object and then we can also put each one on its own layer so it makes it a lot easier to animate um, as you know you can only animate one one you only have one tween per layer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna while my imagine is selected I'm gonna go ahead and control B on the keyboard to break that apart then I can right click and choose distribute to layers and you'll see each layer it's already named with each letter and I can go ahead and then delete layer 10 by dragging it to the trash can. So then if I come over here you'll see that hey all my keyframes aren't in frame 40 where I want everything to start it actually went back to frame 1. So what I can do is I can click on the frame 1 of the letter I, scroll up, hold the shift key down and select all the keyframes and then I'm letting go of everything on the keyboard and I can just drag and drop those keyframes to start in frame 40. It makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and lock all my layers and then I'll just unlock that first letter I and that's the one I'm going to work with. And so then what I'm going to do is I want the letter I to come out of his head and actually look like it's coming out of the head and maybe swirl around and rotate and do some fun, fun stuff with it. So when you select the keyframe in a layer you'll notice that the object on the stage is already selected. I can come up to insert motion tween and I only want this tween to last 10 frames so I'm going to drag the end of the tween span here to frame 50 and you can do more you can do less it's up to you and I'm going to click in the last frame and then set the ending position and there you have there's a tween span you'll see it in blue if I wanted to shape that tween span what I can do is as my uh, selection tool comes up to the tween span you'll see that little arc at the bottom of it that allows you to actually drag it and then once you actually have a shape to it I can use the sub selection tool that would be the white arrow and I can actually grab the bezier curves now you have to click the endpoints either endpoint and then I can come in and I can drag the shape of the curve and if you're familiar with using Adobe Illustrator you'll notice that this works exactly the same way. So I'm going to just kind of create this little Bezier curve and if you lose the points like I did there I can just come back and click the end and grab it to make it really look like it's coming out of his head. And then what I like to do is I click anywhere in that tween so I can see the letter I here is around frame 44. Come on over here and increase the rotation and maybe set it counterclockwise and then when I scrub the timeline I can see there's that letter I. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this part of the video. There's a second part to uh, this part of animating text. We'll see you in part two here and we'll finish animating the letter M and do a few more things. Thank you.